you can see that it's actually blinking with blue asking for the connection so let's get into the setup so here it goes So what we have here is a Smart Egg Pro from a company called Ico. And um, I actually backed this project because mainly I've been using Logitech Harmony Hub for many years. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's really good, but sometimes if I were to command Google Assistant to turn off my TV, it will take up to a minute. And one of the biggest downside of using the Logitech Harmony Hub is that it doesn't have the right frequency for my Ruark speaker that I use for my TV down there. I mean, it's a brilliant speaker, but unfortunately in a scenario where I were to wake up, walk into my living room and try to turn on the TV, I have to manually turn on the speaker, which is becoming a nuisance for many, many years. So I just thought that Ico would be a perfect device to replace that. I hope it has the right frequency uh, because this is actually for one app for all remote control. It might be the same as Logitech Harmony Hub, we'll see. But in any way, this could also be used for customized scenes and Bluetooth mesh networking. Uh, it has IFTTT for Amazon Alexa and Google Home and etc., which is very good. Automation and scheduled event and hassle-free to work anywhere and etc. It also has infrared range of eight min, sorry, eight meters, and also a Bluetooth of 5.1, which is decent enough. So good point is that this is one of the latest um, smart home device infrared remote control. So I hope this will be better than the Logitech Harmony Hub. Anyhow, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's get into the unboxing of this. So use the knife. That's a smooth cut. You see what I mean? Well done. So Ah, we've got this beautiful egg here and um, quite rightly uh, the package is that on the top we got the that's all right actually that's a really good quality USB-C uh, cable with the flat um, finish which is very good you know if you get a regular shape it gets worn out and this is just a pretty standard um, USB-C uh, charging dock with a rubber grip so it hardly moves so that's how you connect it and the actual product itself I've been given a white color but it seems to have a bit of a gray tint on it for some reason but um, it's a simple minimalistic product with a logo and the reset button on the bottom and that's pretty much it so if we were to put it on the charging dock you can see that it's actually blinking with blue asking for the connection so let's get into the setup so here it goes right so the ICO smart remote control app is all installed so if I were to open it's actually asking for um, tap to configure okay since Android 6.0 system requires location permission okay yeah while using the app of course and tap to configure the device um so power on off it's searching so i think i need to register this for the bluetooth all right so i think it's that plus button okay oh here it is so let's um next and then looking for the smart egg pro okay it says setting up activated successfully so that was pretty um straightforward i think living room so i think that's all the pre um existing setup that I did with the Harmony Hub, but also I need to add the charging dock as well. Uh, please power the charging dock with USB cable. Okay, I'll do that now. Okay, so it's charging and you can see the green light flashing with the red on around the smart egg. So let's press next, connect to the dock. Activated successfully, brilliant. So you can see the blink of the red. Okay, so that's all connected. Let's actually add the remote. Um, so you need to search for the device. Let's try Ruark, shall we? No, there is no Ruark here, which is a big letdown for me, unfortunately. But um, nonetheless, what, what you can do is there's TV, aircon, 
cable, D DIT, all these device, projector, fan, even fan, okay, digital camera, light, screen, and air purifier, and etc. you could actually add, but as long as it's actually under their software system. All right, so on the scene, you could actually add the scene with the test. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is for, but I guess you can actually um, customize this with your smart um, smart lights and on the remote control you can add the remote again by using um, finding the brand um, and etc on the smart side you could actually use the timer to set up the timing uh, for triggering some of the device and also the automation as well so that's pretty much it for the um, actual controlling so gladly if i were to press on the amp tuner or something like that um, and then if i can't find anything that i'm looking for there's there's a notification saying that uh, can't can't find the brand so you just clone the actual thing so i got the ruach uh, remote control here so let's see whether it's going to work the instruction says um you know do it like about a few centimeters away it's 10 millimeters okay so i'm doing it really close so uh, um, i don't know where the actual projectile of the lights coming in but i really hope it will clone it Come on, you can do it. It's actually turning off on on my um, speaker, but it doesn't seem to be copying the infrared for this device, unfortunately. Another bit of a letdown is that when I go to the cleaning robot, I cannot find our Xiaomi um, product at all. I think they still need to do a bit of an upgrade on this. Um, they seem to have their own robot cleaner brand, so I, I'm sure they're doing quite well with their own business, but if you can't find the brand, you have to clone your remote control. But I believe our remote, um, the robot cleaner doesn't actually have a remote control, to be honest with you. So I know you, many of you are gonna think this is quite difficult, but let me show you how it's done. So you go to Google Home, and then you press uh, Setup Device, and then Works with Google. And then what you need to do is type in the um, smart egg. And then you see the logo um, with a smart egg on. So you need to link up the smart egg account. So link it up. So I had this Ico Smart Egg Pro for a few weeks now. And um, initially, again, I was hoping that it was able to, it will be able to read the radio frequency uh, for my Ruach R7 remote control, but unfortunately it didn't. It's not a surprise, I was, it was just a tiny hope that I, uh, that could have improved my life by verbally commanding a speaker to turn on and off and etc. cetera, um, but it didn't work unfortunately. But the biggest downside is the IFTTT function, which I could not log into, uh, connect to, to my Smart Egg Pro. It is there, but it just can't be connected. So that's why I was waiting for a few weeks uh, to be able to uh, be, you know, the updates will be able to link it up, but still it's not happening at the moment. In other words, at the moment, what you can use Ico is you, you can use your smartphone as your multi, um, multi remote control function so you need to log into the ico uh, app and then you'll see other different remote control device in the screen and you'll be able to do it but um, the beauty about harmony hub which happened um, about four or five years ago is that you use google assistant linking it up to ifttt to be able to verbally command your tv or your smartphone or, or your sorry smart home device to be functioning in other words ifttt those who don't know is if this and that in other words um, if i say to google assistant then google assistant will link it up with another smart home device to make such thing works for example our robot um, cleaner or our tv harmony hub will actually trigger basically the robot cleaner or the tv and etc but ico is smart egg is supposed to do that but you just can't um be linked up or be connected and even the package itself it says these it supports iftt but at the moment it doesn't so that's a bit of a letdown but overall my conclusion is 
it doesn't um it the maximum if the ifttt works the maximum capacity at the moment is same as logitech harmony hub or maybe less because logic logitech harmony hub is very well known and logitech is a big firm and i think ico compared to logitech is a smaller firm but i have actually be briefly gone through it seems that the uh, software or the remote control uh, knowledge that they have is less than what Logitech Harmony Hub has. So the best what you can achieve at this stage is unfortunately because IFTTT doesn't work for me, it's less of a function that I could use uh, compared to the Logitech Harmony Hub is only through uh, logging into my smart um, smartphone using the app and swiping on the screen. But for the verbal command to say, turn on the TV and turn off TV, it doesn't work because of the IFTTT doesn't work. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed actually. I hope uh, at least Ico will update or maybe tell me how I could link it up with uh, the IFTTT of what they promise. But at the moment, it is turning out to be uh, quite a disappointment. I mean, overall, the build construction side or details or whatever you want to say, it, it's nice and neat, um, but um, it's more down to the software, actually. The presentation is good, but the software needs to be vastly improved. And um, one day, I hope I could find a device that could read the radio frequency or a, a software provider who can um, provide the ways of turning on and off with my Ruark or any of the radio frequency uh, based remote control that would be really appreciated. So anyhow, I hope this video helped you understand the reality of the Ico Smart Egg Pro. Um, again, my final word is the best that it could achieve would be the same level as Logitech Harmony Hub. Uh, but if you defer to my opinion, if you think I'm being too mean, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to discuss with further matters. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.